The first direct flight from Orlando, Florida to Rapid City is happening today as the airport continues to grow new direct flights. Kettleland's Tyler Lauder has details on the additional travel destinations for flyers in the Black Hills. Over the past year, the Rapid City Region Airport has added several direct flights to major cities across the United States. You know, we're just seeing growth to the airport, growth to the routes that we've got, and growth in the community. So more local people flying out, but then also those people who come in to visit the beautiful Black Hills. You know, we want to be able to accommodate everybody. These direct flights from Orlando, Florida to Rapid City will be happening twice weekly year round here at the Rapid City Regional Airport. We all know that we get travelers fatigue, so the more times that we have to get off a plane and, and sit in an airport and then uh, reboard another, uh, another plane, it really makes a huge difference in having those direct flights. The airport is already seeing travelers from Orlando, and with these direct flights, it could have a bigger impact on the local economy. With Orlando, we get approximately 69,000 people a year coming into this area of the region to visit the Black Hills. So, you know, when you look at the economic impact associated with bringing those folks in and bringing in people from all different parts of the country into here, there's a major economic benefit here to the Black Hills. The Black Hills is a huge tourist destination, and we do a really good job of marketing that. Um, being able to have people come in on direct flights, it's only going to benefit you know, the economy. As the airport here continues to expand, taking a new summer vacation has never been easier. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. The first direct flight should be landing this hour. We will see a plane heading right back to Orlando as well.